questions that you may be asked is, can I get this rig in and out of my driveway? I'm super high. It's not a motorcycle, baby. It's a chopper. Come on, let's go. Welcome back. Riders on the norm. I'm going to turn it up for you. In fact, uh, before we do this, can we shut this door here? Got a lot of got a lot of echoing coming out of the living room. Heavy, Listen, heavy echo, heavy echo. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the mood light. I'm gonna keep it up. We got Larry in here with us. Larry's the little guy that lives with uh, with me and the Mad Dog, the little dog. Look, he's just loving on Scott, knowing that Scott needs some extra love right now. Look, see that little fucker? He puts a smile on your face. You can't help it. Where's that? I need to take a fucking picture of this. Welcome no. back to the show, guys. Welcome back. What's going on, man? I don't know if I like. I feel like I need to. I feel like I need to. We need to get maybe let you lay down on the couch here, and we can talk about some things. Yeah, I need the. I need the mic like laying right in my face. <laughs> oh God! I just nailed that photo. Oh no, I didn't either. Missed it. Missed it. That sucks, but that's all right. Oh, Harry, Larry. Look, man, this thing, uh, this is a, this is the fucking podcast, and this is our podcast, and it's about choppers, rock and roll, vanning, RVing, uh, mini biking, and, and racing. Lately, it's been a lot about racing, and a lot about mini biking, and we've acquired a fuck ton of these things. What is going on? What, Scott? What? Let me ask you something. What's going through your mind? Let's talk about this with, uh, with all these mini bike purchases. Heavy, heavy purchases. What do you mean? I mean, we're like seven deep right now. That's a lot. One of them is uh, Axel's. What is it? One I'm building for Axel. He's <laughs> over in freaking Germany right now. He is, told, he does he me. qualify as our first out of country racer? Yeah, yeah. He's overseas. That's what we're considering him. If he orders from, uh, I feel like he needs to send like a postmarked, a, a postmarked letter from Germany, requesting with his entry fee. He's already paid for it already. Well, it doesn't matter. He needs to send us something from Germany showing that he's in Germany. Maybe we can give him an award for that. Does it count if he's got a home in Wilmington? No, it doesn't. He doesn't count as the furthest traveled. I mean, we can give it to him. Nah, I feel like uh, the furthest one right now, to uh, to my knowledge, is Dreamy, Dreamy Prince. Prince, coming from Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> that what, fucking guy. What's uh? Has he been texting you? No, he's been laying back. What's up? He came in hot and heavy for uh, a couple weeks, and then uh, he's laid back. No shit. Yeah, kind of concerned about him. Well, I hope. Uh, I hope. He's Matter of okay. fact, I'm gonna hit him up today. You should. Yeah. Uh, look, before we get into uh, into what's going on in our lives. And what's going on in uh, in our little chopper world, in our little mini bike world, in our little uh, our little van world, and also RV world? For those uh, look, there's a lot of stuff that we're into. But I'll tell you what what uh, what I'm really into is get lowered cycles. You into that? I did. The uh, these guys, Mike up there, they're they're up in I think they're in the northeast, uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, Deep they, North. They have uh, they've been contributing to the uh, to the show, and then you know what? Also, they contributed to uh, to the Grundle Run, which we will be attending next uh, next weekend. weekend. Holy shit! It is Georgia next Mountains. weekend. Georgia Mountains. And uh, in fact, I've got the guys on. Uh, I talked to them yesterday. Nice. Before we went to the uh, compound to the compound. They ready? Hammer- yeah, they're ready. Yeah, they're fucking. They got all their beer. <clears throat> they do. They did get a lot of fucking beer. Oh, high life. Yeah, five hundred cans, dude. It's a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of beer. So it's uh, it's their first year, but we'll get into all that. This we'll, guy's making me hot. Let's we'll set him down. He looks comfortable, but yeah. you can set him down if you'd like to. But it's Larry. I mean, you yeah. you got to love this little fucking guy. I'm running my fingers through his paw. <laughs> that He's, dog. I'm he, telling you, he loves you, it. That dog right there brings joy to so many people. People that don't even know him see him, and they go, what's his fucking name? You go, Larry. They go, no fucking way. I love this dog immediately. Look at him. Anyways, get lowered. 
uh, they did contribute to uh, to the Grundle fucking run. Grundle Run. Nice. But uh, they hooked us up with the helmets, which I do need to install your uh, your Cena Bluetooth so that we've got communication on the track in we case somebody's like, you know trying to fucking sabotage us. Right. Uh, as we're going through turn three into turn four, which is the hairiest. Hairiest. God. Hey, let me ask you something about that. Uh, are you planning on sweeping that part of the track at all? Or is that like a built-in fucking uh, obstacle? The sand? Yeah, all the loose, <laughs> loose sand I'm, to to big white rocks. I think we're going to take the track uh, blowers and we're going to blow that off. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Me and Jeff were talking about that. We were uh, we were actually asking our well we were we were just talking to each other saying uh, on the way home last night on the way home last night that we need to sweep up that part of the track it's dangerous you are getting a little nervous I mean yeah I'm actually getting I'm the the closer and closer that this thing gets <laughs> smash my freaking head let, it, let him out of here get out of here get out of here Larry enough, enough companionship. Uh, the last few times, and I think that I think that that what's happening. And I'm just going to go ahead and be real right now. Uh, I think what's happening is is that I've cut off my pegs, waiting on these uh, new pegs to get here because I need some breakaways. I'm leaning pretty heavy, and I don't want to get caught up on that side and get on the fucked tire? up. Yeah. So the last few times we've been out there, I haven't been able to really fucking ride my mini. Because I've got nowhere to put my feet, and it's fucking with my confidence. Yeah, it is. It really is. So Ed, I need uh, I need to talk to Ed and get that little fucking square piece so I can weld my new pegs on. Yeah, and uh, and then hopefully I'll be taking some tight turns. I mean, we need to get people on the track. Yeah, fucking right. What's uh, what do you? How do you feel about your bike right now? She's ready. You think so? Fucking right. Jess was throwing some flames last night. Did you see that? Yeah. He needs to start throwing some flames on the track. <laughs> Instead of them grips. What's uh so no, his bike's running good. Yeah, his is running good. Uh he does have flame. He does, he does have, have flame, flame gri- blue flame grips. Where did you get those, Jeff? Come on. Uh what was I about to say? Oh his, you're talking about his blue fuel line. The <laughs> Jeff loves blue, dude. There's no, there's no denying. This. We love Jeff, and we do love Jeff. He hasn't been in here in a while. No, maybe we'll get him in before the damn race, before the big race. Is there like, is is he just trying to stay away because you know the the competition? The maybe, maybe the nerves. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want us asking him the questions. Uh, he, you know what he did last night at the compound? He looked at my bike, looked at his, made an adjustment on his, and. Uh, and his bike is a little faster now. Well, faster in a straightaway don't mean nothing on that track, this that hell true. track. This is true. I've got some tires coming. I got tires, wheel bearings. Need um, the bearings. Yeah, because mine rolls like shit. That one that you put those new wheel bearings in, Damn dude, right. that thing almost flew out of my fucking hand yeah, when I tried to just difference. move it across the shop yeah. floor. Bearing, bearings make a huge, huge deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, we didn't have a show Monday or Tuesday, whenever we do these freaking shows, uh, just because there's a bunch of shit going on. Yeah. But, let, can I go ahead and just say this shit? Let, tell Dude, them. Let's tell them what's do, about to go down. Listen, we're, here's, here's, here's what's happening. We are we are jamming to get freaking a Tuesday show out and a Friday show. And, dude, fuck that. I don't want to fucking do that anymore. I don't. It's over. <laughs> we're going to do Fridays. Because honestly, it, there's no time to fucking do anything. Because you're worried about the fucking show. Yeah. Uh, but as far what's happening is it's affecting my my riding, and it is. It's affecting my riding. It's affecting my time out on my fucking motorcycle. And what the fuck? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of talking about it. Yeah. So we're 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 in the process of building one killer show for Friday. Yeah. Friday morning. What it's gonna do? It's gonna bring you into the weekend. Ready, yeah. ready. Yeah. Not only ready to ride your chopper, not only ready to get inside your custom van, and not only ready to get in your '69 Winnebago, but to get on the street and fucking race. God, because that's all we do now is race. 
come come the 14th, we're starting our racing career again. And then come February, we'll be back. God, we got to carry so much shit up to fucking Mama Tried. That's fine. But we got time. We do have time for that. That's like four months out. I mean, we may have a close trailer by then. ROTN Racing. I hope so. You know what I'm saying? We may be fully sponsored. Just full on freaking full on, full on trailer by, wrap. Winneb- by Winnebago. God, I bet you if they knew how much we were selling this freaking sixty nine Winnebago Brave, which let me let's go there real fast. Uh you know, the last what's up? I don't know where you're going with this. I'm concerned. Go ahead. There's no need to be concerned. There's a there was a victory last night. Oh yeah. The oh, victory yeah. was look. And I didn't you, know where and you were going. Go, yeah, I know. I knew it was going to start. Yeah, well, I knew it was going to start too. It's a brand new fucking motor. It's going to start. There's no need for it not to start. I know that the real test is once we get it out on the road. Is there oil? Is there fucking antifreeze flying everywhere in that fucking engine bay? And we're going to find out. I'm not working tomorrow, by the way. It's Friday. I hear you. So. What I need to do is go down there and fucking drain this damn transmission fluid and put that filter in, and yes. let's take that bitch on the freaking on the damn on a test run. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Uh, so, anyways, we did fire that up last night. That is a huge victory in my eyes. I know that you've done this four or five fucking times now, and I can sense the the loss of interest in it. But I'm gonna bring you fucking back. It's not the loss of interest. It's the frustration. It's a little frustration. I got a lot of frustration right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, let's go back to us, me and you. March. We're down in Florida. Coming back from Daytona. Remember when we got there super late night? It was about midnight, maybe even two o'clock in the morning. And we got in the Winnebago and we cranked it up. And Big John. Maddie, who else was with us? Freaking Jeff, Jeff, Jeff G, G uh, my brother. Yeah. They had never seen this thing before. And oh, we, you're talking about when we picked it up at the storage unit. When we picked it up at the storage unit. And then we fucking come barreling out of that fucking U-Haul fence. And they were like, holy fuck. Yeah. It's one, thing, it's one thing to see this thing in pictures, but to see it in real life. Dude, so... We woke up super early that next fucking morning, drove, we got on the interstate with it. Early as fuck. Early as fuck. Hit the fucking Waffle House. Yup, pulled, backed it in. <laughs> Smashed breakfast at the fucking Waffle House. Hey, did we or did we not back it in and have the best fucking damn photo that was a of sick the photo. front of that with the Waffle House behind us? Such a sick photo. Smashing eggs at fucking 06 so, with a 69 Winnebago. And it was awesome because everybody was on their way down to fucking Bike Week and dudes were yeah. fucking pulling into Waffle House with and trailers. And shit. Yeah. So then we get back on the road and I'll never forget being in there and going, dude. How kind of, sick is how like, sick? Well, I was thinking how sick it was, but I was also thinking it's pretty fucking cold in here. Yeah. Like my feet are cold. Well, it's right only now. because it was 40 degrees in Daytona. God, it was cold as fuck. Yeah, we had to get fucking heaters. So we pull into freaking as we finally so that was from Jacksonville down to Daytona, which was what, a couple hours, yeah. three hours maybe? Yeah. I think it was like two hours. And she rolled out. Dude, it was so fucking sick. We pulled, like, we got all, we made it to our destination. Yeah. We pulled off to the exit, put gas in it, because we had no idea how much gas we were using. We nope. were just filling it, fill yeah. that fucker no up. No fuel gauge. Every hundred miles, yeah. fill it up. We're going by feel. We, that's exactly what we're doing. Dude, we were doing, and that was perfect. A hundred mile increment. Yeah. I feel like that was, that was good for that vehicle we don't know the vehicle let's hit 100 miles let's get off of it check some shit out make sure everything's fucking check tight. the tires yeah and keep fucking rolling yeah so we filled up at the fucking daytona uh right there at destination daytona yeah. in daytona at ross meyer's place filled up there went across the street met jp met and JP danger dan and fucking danger dan they were they were at fucking waffle house pulled the bagel right up to the front door <laughs> Dude, and those motherfuckers, we we had said uh, we sat down like they were they were sitting there fucking eating, sat down, and uh, after we were done, they were like, because we hadn't been to the uh, to the bar yet, no, to the where we were posting up, Boogie East, yeah, Boogie East, Annie Oakley's, Annie. 
So they said that they had walked over. So yeah. we were like, are y'all walking back or you yeah. want to ride? They were like, fuck no, we're getting in the Vega. Can you give us a ride, a, a one-eighth mile ride down to Annie Oakley's? Dude. So I, I'm, they sat right on the couch. I know it. it I'm telling you. You swiveled the chair, the passenger seat. H- hang out, being a gracious host. No shit. In our basic living room that we had. And I came out of the freaking uh, Waffle House parking lot. Heavy lean. Dude, was that, did we, was, uh, was that the, no, I think it was good that morning. We, when we left, when was it that we looked under there and there was a puddle of oil? At, it was at Waffle House. But I don't know if it was that morning that we pulled in or when we were leaving. Yeah, I don't know. We we, we stopped at so many Waffle Houses during that weekend. <laughs> we did. We did. Or are you talking about the parking lot where we staged the, the coffee house parking lot we staged across the hotel? And that's where we slept. Dude. The the day prior. The day <laughs> the prior the day, the day prior to Departure. Well, I really had uh I wanted to call it annihilation of the motor. Destruction. I look I kept looking at your your tag that said custom destruction. So I'm thinking of that three eighteen self destructed. But it it did it did let us down that day, uh, but when we moved it from your mom and dad's over to Jacksonville and from Jacksonville to, to Daytona, Daytona, then all around Daytona, all around Daytona, she made the loop, dude. Yeah. Oh, that was a sick fucking ride, by the dude, way. Dude, you don't even know how close those fucking limbs were to the top of that Winnebago. We were trimming trees, literally, literally. Somebody asked me the other day, what kind of roof is on that thing? What do you mean? On the Winnebago. What do you mean? And that's what, what I said. I go, what do you mean? I go, I don't know. It don't leak. That's all I know. No, so, it's resealed. Is it? Yeah. Uh, dude, it is. I'm telling you, it is so close. It's going to be. Is it, he referring to our spoiler that's on the back of the Winnebago? Maybe. You know who this guy was? This dude works for Air Gas. He's our delivery dude for Air Gas. Yeah. Uh, and. He he was asking about my van, and I go, yeah. I said that's uh, that's mine or whatever. I said my buddy's got one, a brown one here in town. I said, in fact, he's over there by you on Raleigh Street. He goes, oh fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. This dude's like a little redneck dude. He's fucking. He was pumped, so pumped about it. Loves the vans. Loves the vans. Uh, he goes, what? He goes, what? Uh, he he's got like a fucking like a fucking Chevy truck with some badass wheels on it too. I go, yeah. C10. The fucking C10. I said, that thing's got a 327 Corvette motor in it. Damn he goes, right. Son Old of blue. A, yeah, he goes, son of a bitch. Some bitch. Did he hold three fingers in the air? Uh, as soon as I said Chevy, I saw I saw some love you know, for the uh, for the Charlotte uh, area. Which he probably had an Earnhardt uh, t-shirt underneath his damn work shirt. Dude, so I saw... Uh, so we were at the Thunderbird. Let's go to that real fast. Let's recap on it. Uh, so Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, I should say, uh, I'd gotten my bike when we were last, last weekend or a couple weekends ago, me and Maddie were in the mountains Yeah, and I lost my brakes up there in the fucking mountains. Yeah, I don't even know if that. I talked about that on the show. Though. Yeah, it's fine. Losing brakes is your only break. Dude, only break in, in the, the mountains, mountains. It's fine. No problem. Yeah. Uh, well, what had, what had happened was my fucking, uh, my brake stay bolt. I guess backed out. Maybe it sheared off. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that that I probably should have checked uh, prior to this. Definitely some prior maintenance. Yeah. So go to put the brake on the other day. Nothing. No, no, no. Uh, I get it up on the up on my little fucking center lift or whatever, and I I go to hit the brake and like and just check if because I you know I bled everything. Yeah. And just checking to see if I had pressure on the fucking disc dude i i go to move the fucking like you know move yeah. the fucking wheel dude the whole my axle is loose as a fucking goose your rear axle rear axle loose as a goose dude it freaking moved a solid three sixteenths of an inch that's how loose it freaking it it was able to freaking move maybe even more than that maybe even a solid quarter inch damn so what I'm thinking is either A, my, because uh, I had a nylock fucking nut. nut on the back of that thing that either it sheared off from it being loose 
and just finally cranked it enough that it broke that fucking bolt off, or maybe it just backed out. Yeah. Either way, I Nylos lost. don't normally back out, but that's what I'm saying. Might have been from heavy heat. I don't know. It, it just with that wheel being loose too, it it uh, it just all added up that maybe it did break. But anyways, I got it fixed Saturday morning. Harley actually had the fucking uh, the the part the part that I needed. <laughs> I mean, it blew my fucking mind. Yeah. The uh, I needed a 19 inch braided. Well, I didn't. It had didn't have to be braided, but I just needed a 19 inch freaking uh, brake line. You should have came down to the shop. We could have made you one. You could have made me one. Yeah. I guess you could. You have made me one. Really? Damn right. With a banjo, you don't got a band. You ain't got all that shit. Got all that shit. So, anyways, uh, they had the part. I got it all set up, and uh, and then Saturday. Well, that was Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Blood them. Yeah. Me, Maddie, the Goose, and Josh headed off towards Florence. West. West to the Thunderbird. Dude, avoid highways from Wilmington to Florence. Super awesome ride. Went through this little fucking town. Uh, it's called Fair Bluff. I guess that place flooded but, uh, like a motherfucker. A couple years ago, right? Last, last year. year. Yeah. During Matthew. Yeah. Uh, but it was a cool little town. Here's the thing about this Bluetooth shit that that uh, that I that I ride with now in yeah. my fucking helmet, right? And even getting like a little iPhone. Thanks to, thanks to get lowered. Thank you to get lowered. Um, the I I got an iPhone or like a phone holder. For you had my, Waze? Well, you had Waze hooked up or no? Uh, this one I actually just used. No, I did use Waze on the way out there. Waze is awesome because it it pulls up like. Alerts, you know, freaking if cops are out there or whatever. Vehicle on the side of the road. Vehicle on the side of the road. Chopper's coming. Yes, any of that. Uh, but I use, you know, I'll put my little fucking iPhone holder on the uh, on the on handlebars. The handlebars. Yeah. I put a, uh, a, I got this move from Josh. I put a battery tender uh, connection back on my chopper. Battery? Yeah. And bought a little USB connector to, to that. Yeah. And so now I've got a USB connection on my battery, so it charges my so phone. It charges my phone. You got a wire going all the way to your handlebars Dude, for your battery. Yeah, but it's right on the tri- It's right above the triple tree. It's on the little center bar on the bars. Oh, I got it. So it just runs right up the right up the fucking thing, right up the frame. Yeah. And I just connect it in. Gotcha. So it's it's not like blowing around anywhere. It's not it's hitting just, you in the face. Fuck no. So I hit. Avoid highways from there, and it took me on roads that I would, A, never have the fucking confidence in taking because I just don't know that way. Like, right. I'm going to take the way that I know, which is 74, 76 to 95 south. Yeah, and 80, we'll 90 miles an hour. Yeah, it sucks. Or we can take some cool country roads. Heavy rain gear flapping behind you. Yeah, you better have some fucking rain gear. So, uh, anyways, got out there. Dude... If you if you guys follow the story on uh, on Instagram, we don't post a lot of stuff on there, but sometimes we do. And I feel like I was posting a, maybe I posted a couple things. I didn't take like any pictures. I know, which is all good because I was having fun. That's it. No time for media. Fuck no. The uh, I don't even want to get into all into the whole social media thing that we were talking about the other night. Yeah. Uh, but I just didn't have time for it. That's for another show. That is. That could be an entire show in itself. But me, Josh, uh, Josh, Ra- yeah, Josh uh, Thaxton, uh, Rising, The Goose. Chevy uh, D. Chevy D. Dude, we had a blast down there. There was probably like 15 of us that, that showed up, 15, 20. Yeah. Which was actually perfect because I think I knew most of those dudes, Colby and uh, yeah. Connor. Came dude, down, those came dudes, down from Selma. Yeah, those dudes are a fucking trip. Yeah, Connor, the uh, wild man. How do you like his sporty with the damn uh, with the freaking mag? Did oh he bring, yeah, did he bring that down? Uh, it's got yeah. a magneto on it. No, I don't think so. No, no, I think they, I, I think they drove down. Oh, they did. They didn't chop down. They might have chopped down. They anyway, were there. Anyways, they he, got their. They got their Friday night. Damn. Dude. Anyways, Connor's got a sick ass uh, sporty with the damn mag. Okay, I don't know if I've ever uh, with a magneto. Yeah. When you said mag, I thought you were talking about like mag wheel. Yeah, it just shows up with a mag know. wheel. Um, 
No, those dudes are a fucking trip. No, I meant magazine. Showed yeah. He had a magazine. Right. Uh, anyways. <laughs> the dude. Fuck? Those dudes are fucking trip, and uh, they're they're hooking it up. For yeah, they're the, the ones uh, they're the ones that are hosting the damn uh, pre party for the war run. Yeah, up there in Selma. Yeah, it's gonna get crazy. It is. They said that um, there might be a couple spots in the in the back of for people that were wondering about camping and uh, hammock camping. Which oh, is hammock a, trees. It's a big thing these these days. I'm I'm a hammock camper. There's there's a few spots in the back that they got some trees where you can throw your hammock up. Just hang them from the damn uh, chase vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Look, what are we, uh, for the Grundle, we're going to take off Friday after work? Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. And just van over with the bikes in tow or truck over, whatever we got to do, if we got to rent a vehicle or what. Whatever. Uh, get to the cabin. They say that they're partying down Friday night over there, but I don't see us like if we're leaving after work, dude. It's gonna be fucking late as piss. Yeah, it'll be super a, late. It'll be an old like midnighter getting to the cabin, which it was, it's another hour and a half from there. From there, so we'll just wake up in the morning and and head over there if you're into that. Burn tires. Yeah, but you know, like you, here's the thing with having these vans. And having the uh, and having the bikes. What are you taking? Are you gonna take the shovel? Yeah, I don't know. Or yet. the uh, the, the the shovel. Yeah, no. The freaking uh, the bagger. We'll see. What do you mean? I may take the mini bike. No, there's a fucking run. <laughs> I don't know yet. I know, I know. But we're a week out at this point, so we need to start figuring <laughs> some stuff out. Yeah, I got a couple things on my plate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just don't know till the day of, son. What's Dude. happening? <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm only trying to get get this goddamn war run ready. You know I what I'm know. Saying? You're trying to do all logistics. Fuck, I know. Solo. Uh, you're right. And that's another reason to the fucking one show thing. Yeah. I mean, I know you're already down to one fucking show. Yeah, I've been down. But, uh, yeah, I, can't, I mean, dude, you know I can help out with any of that shit. Whatever you need. Yeah. If there is any tires, Chewy's hooking that up. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. You we'll want to get into we'll that? Get, we'll give him the bring. Uh huh. You want to get into that at all, or what? Let, let people know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole track, the mini bike track, is going to be lined with tires. The whole track, <laughs> and the pit area, and the tech area. We're having the uh, the bago out. That's going to be our freaking. That's going to be like our little in in pit area. It's ROT and racing freaking damn uh, headquarters. Fucking right. You know what I'm saying? It's a CP. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, let's get... Uh, we, we've got at the uh, at the end of this thing here... Well, we are at the end of this thing here. We're going to bring in the... Uh, I talked to Cody and, and Bruce. From the Grundle. From, yeah, from the Grundle run. Mountain Boys. Mountain Boys. Dude, these dudes are... Uh, they're a lot like me. That's what's up. They like to smoke a little bit of weed, fucking chill, ride the mountain roads. I'm into that kind of shit. Yeah, no breaks. That's it. Let's do it. Let's get these guys on Get them on here. Uh, how far is that thing away from you? Do you need it closer? Yeah, get it a little closer. Gotcha. Is that good? Yeah, it sounds a little better. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's real sensual. Oh, yeah. You want some sensual bass in that voice? <laughs> 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 well, look, dude. Hey, pass me that bowl. Nice. Yeah. Fuck. Look, if, well, hang on. If it's going to be that kind of that kind of party, hang on a second. If we're partying, man. I thought we was partying together. <laughs> We are. We just go at this all day. That's, this wow. is just normal. We just live our lives. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, well, look, dude, I'm getting excited about this freaking uh, this run coming up. Hell yeah, dude. We are too. We're excited, man. It's uh, it's on the 23rd, obviously. You know that. Yep. Yep. 
we got a killer route up through the mountains up to Fort Mountain. We're going up to the top of Fort Mountain. We're going to make a stop. It's a 360 view of the North Georgia mountains. It's it's pretty fucking awesome. Now, I'm I'm pretty familiar with uh, you know the North Georgia mountains and stuff, but I don't know where. Like I, I know geographically, I guess where Talking Rock is, but what's like what's how's it how is it out there like what's the uh like kind of what kind of area are you guys in i guess is what i'm trying to say we're uh we're like i don't know we're like 15 minutes like south of ella J. you know where that is yeah 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 Yeah, we're just south of that we're just this like tiny little area that's kind of i don't know just up here in the mountains in the middle of, we got a bait shop nearby where everybody can get cigarettes and gas nice. <laughs> Fucking yeah, there's actually a gas station right across the street from Walking Bruce's in. place where the Grundle Run's being held. Yeah, so what's uh like what's going on with the Grundle Run? Like give me give I guess all of us a rundown of kind of how the activities are happening that day. So basically we're gonna do our ride at about eleven o'clock in the morning is when we're gonna kick off the run between eleven and eleven thirty, depending on when people are gonna be here. On Saturday. On Saturday, which yep. is the twenty third. Okay. Um we're gonna go do our ride, which will take about I'd say between one and a half hours to three hours, depending on how many people show up. Yep. Um it's about eighty miles. Uh we're making one gas stop, one stop at the top of the mountain. And when we get back, we're doing a pig roast with a bunch of sides, and we're going to do motorcycle games. We got free beer from Miller High Life. Thank yeah, you, Miller cool. High Life. Yeah. Thank you, Miller High Life. Yeah, they donated 500 beers and gave us a, a, a beer tub to distribute it all to all the fine people of the land. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, make their way here. <laughs> we got tall boys, too. It ain't none of that 12-ounce pussy shit. No, this is the real <laughs> <laughs> how'd y'all get but, hooked uh, up with them did y'all do... just uh call those guys up or do, do they ride any of those dudes ride with you no well we know I, I know the uh the contact through a previous event that i did okay. um and he i contacted him again he said he was down he actually made us some banners as well for the run oh yeah and uh he gave us some six packs of uh pony beers eight ounce pony uh, freaking golly, I'm stoned. The little ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They gave us the little ones for the raffle because they're you can't buy them, I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah, we just know him from. I've actually known him for about five years. Nice. That's what's up. Um, yeah, so it was kind of a hookup, I guess, which was which is pretty amazing. Yeah, hell yeah. So the property. Um, but after guys, we get, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You were talking. Well, I was just going to say. So the property that that's is that yours? Who else is there with you? That is mine. I'm Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Hey, man. Did Bruce? Have we met at? Uh, did we meet it at the Twin Rivers? No, I didn't go to Twin Rivers. Okay, dude. Uh, we might have met at the congregation, probably. Oh, God, I was stoned out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. By met, I mean we might have met, but who the fuck knows? Yeah, it's gonna be one of those. Oh yeah, there's his face. <clears throat> yeah. All yeah. right. So. That this is on Bruce's property, is that right? Yeah, yes, sir. yeah. This is my house and like barn and shop and everything. Hell yeah! So now, are, yeah, we got a little field. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, you guys, do you guys have a shop? Like his Long Brothers, is that a is that a, a a running shop or is that just kind of you know you and the homies and stuff? It's just us and the homies, man. We just build our own stuff and like to like to make long rides and make long time friends, my friend. Dude, that's awesome. We're basically, so, yeah, we basically just ride motorcycles. We just ride motorcycles and, and have fun and get fucked up and who gives a shit? Yeah, that's it. So what else? Uh, what else was I interrupted us talking about the damn beer contact for whatever reason? Uh, my bad. <laughs> um, what else is uh, what else have we got going on for the run? Because I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Because <clears throat> it's I mean it's kind of a fucking haul for us to make it on Friday night all the way from after work uh, to get down there. So me and Scott are gonna get to my cabin, which is like only an hour and a half away from y'all. And we're gonna crash out there Friday that's, night. That's in Tiger, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. 
Yeah, and so we'll I, see you on a Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Now, is anybody that that's getting out? Are y'all are y'all doing anything Friday night, or is this just a Saturday uh, morning? Friday deal? night's mostly going to be more like Friday night's going to be more like just getting in, getting set with your camping spot and chilling, and like we'll play a little bit of music and hang out and you know party a little bit, but nothing crazy. Yeah, depending on the amount of people that show up, we may ride down to a local bar. Uh, yeah, we all might just you know take a little chopper ride down to the bar, depending on you know how many people are here. Yeah. Now, is this the first year that y'all are doing this? It yeah. is. Yep. This this came about from a fucking super stoned ride down to uh, Florida. Manhandle the panhandle. Yeah, man 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 yeah, okay. Zach's little event down there. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. We were down there and we just, you know, we yeah, like the dude. aspect of actually riding motorcycles yeah. when you get somewhere with your friends. And, you know, that dude is fucking awesome. He kind of inspired us to do yeah. this. And yeah. there's nothing in Georgia. So, well, I was, yeah, and we were riding around here and we live up in the mountains and there's so many kick ass, like, cool places to go and ride around. Oh, hell That's yeah. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, we can do this. We got this. Dude, I think about that all the time because every time we go up there to to our place in Tiger, me and Maddie always have our bikes with us. Uh, and to me, like the the Smoky Mountains, North Georgia Mountains, like that whole area, the Appalachian Mountains is like the best riding that I've ever done, in my opinion. Dude, yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, the route Bruce has got planned is is pretty awesome, man. Yeah. It starts out with some good like little straightaways and some yeah. some little some People long curves, and you come out to this opening and you can see the mountain in front of you, the one that we're about to climb, and then we actually get into the mountain roads, the twisties and the nice mm-hmm. turns, and we go up to the top and come back down, and then it's a nice you know relaxed ride back it'll, to the yeah. to the uh, house. Yeah, no, it'll it'll get you. You'll be like you'll it'll, it'll blow your mind a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. The uh, a lot of people that aren't used to like riding those mountain roads, uh, dude, they'll have a fucking blast up there. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's really what we want is for people that don't get to experience it all the time to come and actually ride with people and you yeah. know just have a good time and and give them a destination to come hang out and actually yeah. go ride their motorcycle through the mountains. And we're gonna have enough chase vehicles and stuff that like nobody has to worry about like anything. Like don't worry if you break down or you fucking run out of gas, we got you. No yeah. chopper left yeah, behind. That's our motto always. No chopper left behind. <laughs> So y'all have done, uh, y'all have done like some pre-sales and stuff on t-shirts. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. we did a couple, and and who, who the people that bought the t-shirts get it. You know, obviously they get in for free as far as the uh, the door cost. Okay. The uh, the door and proceeds that we get from the run are actually going to a nonprofit called Sons of the Flag. Okay. Which goes to and they they uh, help our first responders. And uh, which are burn victims is what they mainly help, but they also help civilians and children as well. Yeah. Um, so it actually goes directly to people instead of into a giant fund where you don't know where the money goes. Yeah, that's cool. So I, we did a little research and kind of uh, wanted to put it towards something that actually went to individuals instead of a large corporation. So, I think they have two or three people that work at the nonprofit, and that's it. Yeah. How did you guys find that? Were y'all just looking on the internet or is it something that, you know, somebody suggested that you guys know? Well, one of our, one of our guys, Ronald, he, uh, he follows a guy. I can't remember his name is crispy something. And he noticed that he was a part of it. He had gotten help from it and he was, he put his feelers out and the guy crispy told us about sons of the flag and that's how we found out about it. And then I did some research and we all kind of read about it and, and decided that that was the one we wanted to go with. Nice, that's cool. So tell me about Long um, so Brothers, yeah. uh, Long Brothers Choppers, man. I know you guys are, are just a group of uh, buddies, but like, how long have you all been hanging out? How did everybody meet? <laughs> we all kind of just <laughs> met, at, you know, through motorcycles. Actually, I mean, that's everybody met from different events coming together, and we all figured out that we live near each other, and we just kind of hang out and ride motorcycles. So what? Uh, what are you riding, Cody? I ride the uh, uh, seventy four Ironhead. Okay. The, uh, I don't know if you know it's the hillbilly spaceship. Yeah, fucking right. I do know that. I saw that down in uh, Tampa last year. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, and that thing, dude. Explain that bike to to 
the listeners, because I know what it is, but some people may not know. <laughs> well, it's a 74 iron head. What do you want me to tell you? It'll take, it'll take flight. It'll take flight at about 60 miles an hour on a bridge yeah. that's got little waves in it. Uh, coming from congregation, I bunny hopped about seven times at 60 miles an hour, Jesus. which is crazy. But yeah. yeah, it's it's got a Fury front end. It's got a seven spoke Invader 19. I run Avon's. Uh, it's got a little Corbin seat. Uh, you know, it's it's a one thousand. Other than that, man, I just beat the shit out of it and ride it all the time. It well, the paint is like, uh, the paint's pretty pretty crazy, right? Like getting it like two like all oh yeah. Well, yeah, I actually please. built a uh, I built a hydrographic tank. I do you know what hydrographics are? Or hydro dipping? Have you ever heard of that? No. So it's basically you have a print that's on a film that is like a vinyl, okay. and you put it over a vat of water, and you spray an activator on it, and then dip whatever item you want into it, and it transfers it to the item. Oh, okay. So I did that with the Galaxy, which is on the left side of the tank, and then my friend helped me paint it with the flake on the right side. And then uh, I have another buddy that actually pinstripes, and he pinstriped the bike for me. Dude, well, it looks it looks fucking crazy, dude. I like it. It's it's awesome. It's cool. It's thank cool you, bike. thank you. I mean, it's I I love to ride it, man. It's fun to ride and pop wheelies and do stupid shit on. Hell yeah! <laughs> now, Bruce, what are you riding? <clears throat> I ride a '93 Sportster. Okay, it's a uh, we kind of call it the Rolling Turd because I just sanded it and rusted the shit out of it, and <laughs> kind of want to get a uh, kind of want to get it painted with some turds on it and stuff. But it's got a it's got like a six over front end with a real, real noisy knobby on it. Yep. <laughs> it makes you feel kind of weird when you're cruising in neutral down the mountains and you just hear that weird ass like. <sighs> Dude, I <laughs> ran yeah, one. Uh, I ran one years ago on a girder front end, uh, and that oh, means, geez. Jesus. It was. I think it was about six or eight over uh, on that bike, but it would when you would turn i i'll just never forget turning on i mean and it was a fucking dirt bike front tire and that, yeah yeah dude that thing would drift out as you turned like it just <laughs> yeah it was fucking scary yeah so who yeah, was yeah. <laughs> hit it i my hear bike, it my bike used to be uh my bike used to be my wife's bike <laughs> and uh then we got a hold of it and i was like you know what let's make that a chopper and now I've just been riding the piss out of it since then. So what is does she not ride anymore? No, not really. We took a ride on it a while back, like the first time since we kind of uh, since I started fucking with it or messing with it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. It worked out. It worked out all right. We were cruising like ninety five on my my dumb eight eighty three with my six over front end. Holy shit! I burned out the spark plugs, but yeah, I put a big old front sprocket on it, so like. On the highway, like I don't even really use fifth gear. Right. Yeah, it just goes. <laughs> I'm all really? I'm all highway. It's built for just like putting a bag on and leaning back and just cruising and like, you know, getting your mind right <laughs> and riding for a bit. Dude. That's that's basically what we build our bikes to do is ride long distances and go places. Yeah. Yeah. Long brother. Long brothers. Long like brothers. we're even trying to plan a ride to like West Virginia and just random like ghost towns and shit. Like we just want to ride around like the Appalachians and stuff. Yeah, there's some uh there's some cool places. The Twin Rivers was fucking cool, man. I don't know if y'all Oh yeah, that thing. Did did y'all ride up there or did y'all trailer up? No, we rode all the nice. way. <laughs> fucking A. All the way there. It was awesome, man. We rode up we rode up with the slop shop guys. They came to my house and then okay, yeah. we rode from my house to there. And it was it was amazing, man. The rides were awesome. We got stuck. We actually the first night we got stuck on the mountain because it got so fucking dark we couldn't even see. So we pull over at this these lights on the side of the road. Ended up being a closed hot dog stand by the river on the mountain. What? So we just stayed there. It was awesome, man. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Oh, dude, that time in Birmingham. Remember that? Oh time? yeah. We fucking slept <laughs> in a. We, we were cruising to Birmingham and we thought we were gonna go to Jackson with Slop Shop dudes. And halfway through, we were like, "No, nah, we're not gonna do that." <laughs> and we just slept in a rest heck? stop. A rest stop. Oh, that was uh, that was funny. Uh, yeah, I was ready to get jumped all night. <laughs> oh Jesus. 
Well, what uh, fuck, dude? I'm trying to think what else we can talk about with this damn uh, with this run. Oh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have motorcycle games. We're gonna do like slow race, kickstart race, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we have a raffle, obviously, which, like I said, the proceeds go to Sons of the Flag. And then uh, we're actually gonna do. We got a uh, get lowered cycles sent us a built well gringo that we're actually Hell gonna yeah. do a separate raffle. Yeah, we're actually going to do a separate raffle for that on the ride, so you can only win it on the ride. You got to be on the ride. Yeah, buy so, the ticket and yeah. helmet. Dude, so we're gonna when yeah, we stop right. at the top of the mountain, we're gonna do the raffle for the helmet at the top of the mountain, and we're also gonna give away an award for the best bike on the ride at the top of the mountain, which is uh, gonna be called the Austin Award. Which one of our buddies he uh, just passed away on the Dragon's Tail. He went down and. Uh, he actually just passed away about two weeks ago. Damn it, dude! And his name was Austin. So we're gonna we got a special award we're gonna give away for uh the best bike on the ride for him because he was you know he was excited about coming to the Grundle Run. Yeah, hell yeah! And I hate to hear that. Yeah, but you know we're gonna make light of it and you know do what you know we think uh, he would want to you know the bike he would probably choose you know. Yeah, of course. Um, well. Now the camping and stuff. What's the uh, the property, Bruce? Like, what's how's that set up? How's everybody? It's just uh, I don't know. What do we? We probably got like four to five acres of just like open. There's not a lot of shade. Okay. It's not super hammock friendly. Just it's, letting you know. <laughs> mainly tent camping. Yeah. yeah, no no real hammocks because we don't have uh, trees. It's just a field. In a, if you're okay. coming in a van or something, like you can just we'll get you a spot, you know, just out on the property and you can sleep in your van if that's what you're doing or whatever. Yeah. Um looking at those dumb uh looking at our, our buddies who are probably coming in a van with a Confederate flag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about uh, <laughs> yeah. Colby and Connor? Yeah, you know yeah. Colby and Connor, <laughs> dude. Oh my God, we I just had a blast with them last weekend. Yes, uh, dude, those are dude. buds, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dude, those dudes are fucking awesome. Uh, yep, Connor. You know them. You know the Grundle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when we come to the war run. I think we might be staying with them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're uh, where are they? Well, where are they staying? the i, I don't know I, I guess what i don't know we're just gonna meet them at their house and then go wherever that's okay. kind of just what we do yep the uh <laughs> yeah. you know the there's camping and shit for the war run at the at the compound that you'll be able to camp out there too if if uh if you're talking oh, about, okay it, that's what i was wondering where you're where you're talking about at, up at their place because they're doing that you know the camp out before uh the night before in selma at at cody's place is that right colby's place oh, okay Colby's place. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be at that for sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh if yeah, we those, make dudes it are, those dudes are fucking <laughs> awesome, man. How do you got how do y'all y'all know each other? We just met them at an event, dude, and the became friends. Okay. <laughs> at the congregation. We met them at the camp out at the congregation yeah. and stayed up all night and weathered a monsoon together and turns out um, we all think alike. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just the same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I had uh, I had a lot of fun. Did have you talked to them since uh, since last weekend by any chance? Oh yeah, dude, we're all we uh, we talk almost every day, dude. Man, did, we ended up. Uh, did they tell you about us getting in that fucking that that eighteen wheeler and old whiskey Pete taking us to the club? Say what, what? <laughs> dude? I know. Well, I know freaking Connor was there. Uh, because he was telling me how fucking awesome my wife is, which she is. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. The uh, no, dude, we we got a ride with this freaking this black dude in the bar at uh, at the at the Thunderbird. We ended up. Oh, making, how was that, dude? It was awesome. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really out of control. The we like I was saying, we ended up in a fucking semi. With this, uh, with this dude, he put twelve of us. There was twelve of us in there, and uh, and drove us. We were going to the strip club, but they it was. I don't know what happened to the strip club. We ended up at this other fucking club, and party down with this uh, with this dude all night. It was weird. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, it was fucking. They, cool. The best times always come when you don't want us to know what's gonna happen. Yeah, random. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yep. It was uh it was good to see them. Uh is it Colby or Cody? It's Colby. Uh Colby. My name is Cody. Yeah, but Colby. Yeah, yeah Colby. Colby. You're just high as shit. Yeah. I'm stoned. We all are. 
Uh, <laughs> Colby brought his girl, which was uh, she was super cool. I, that was the first time I'd met them. So, anyways. Hell yeah. Cool. We're all about cool chicks, man. Yeah, fucking A. Yeah, bring your chick. Bring your chick, man. It's all. It's... We're both we're both married. You're talking to married men right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, dude. Uh, where do we? Uh, we're about two weeks out. Is that right? Yeah, we're about two weeks. Not this weekend, but I think it's actually next weekend, isn't it? Yeah, not this weekend. Next weekend. Fine, no, man. two weeks. Yeah, about a week and like, what is that? Yeah, about, about two weeks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, let's do this, man. Let's check in like one more time before uh, before the before the run, which I guess would be God. We'll have to do that freaking next week. If that's you guys, cool, yeah. If let you guys know. are into it or oh, whatever, yeah. maybe this will be enough. Yeah, we'll, man, we'll, see. we'll be together. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Well, shit, we're fucking excited, dude, and can't wait for everybody Super to come. Fun. And let's, I, we can't wait to ride with everybody, honestly. Yeah, it's more this, about the ride for this, us. This ride's going to be badass. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I like uh, I like the rides. Uh, uh, I've said it before on the show. I'm into the rides more than the shows. The shows are cool. I'm not shitting on the shows, but I'm just saying. The, the rides are fun. That's where you oh. meet everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're I going forgot, from. I forgot yeah. to say, but yeah, we are. We're also having a, you know, if you ride your bike here, we're also having a ride in a chopper contest. Okay, chopper show. You know, just something little. You know, we got yeah. a couple awards. Uh, guy Kramer, you know Kramer, he did the the uh, awards for Southbound and Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he cut us some. He cut us some uh, Yeti feet for uh, the Grundle for the trophies. Nice. That'll be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so we got those to give away, and then uh, we'd also like to say thank you to our buddy Thirty on Two for doing all the shirts and stuff for printing yeah, those. Hell yeah, they look awesome. Um, yeah, he really did a killer job, man. He's yeah, that dude is awesome, dude. He's the shit. We met him at the congregation yep. too, dude. He makes a killer chicken and rice at a campsite. <laughs> hell yeah, in like three minutes. <laughs> all right, <laughs> last, uh, <laughs> last question: What is uh, what is the Grundle? It's the it's, it's the between the balls and butthole of North Georgia mountains, man. That's what the North Georgia Grundle. Yeah, it's somewhere between the balls and the butthole. You know, you know where it's at. The right. Grundle. We're yeah. just in between. All right, all right. Well, shit, guys. Hey, I appreciate y'all uh, y'all hanging out with us for a few, and uh, and if anything, we'll see y'all in about a week and a half. Cool, man. We're excited. Yeah. Can't wait. All right, guys. We'll talk to y'all soon. Later, dude. All right, later. Bye.